welcome back to my channel uh, thank you again for clicking on uh, for for this video I wanted to do um, some baking I thought why not we're all stuck at home there's nothing for us really to do so why not bake what I've chosen to do today is a classic a British classic because everyone loves them so why not I'm picking fairy cakes or cupcakes whatever you want to call them cake at the end of the day tiny miniature cakes so yeah i've got everything that we need we've got 125 grams of butter 125 grams of flour two large eggs 125 grams of sugar and then i'll also be adding in some food flavoring uh, i've chosen to use sicilian lemon it's just amazing why not and then for it, I'm going to do buttercream on top with white chocolate chips as decoration. You can choose to have other things. You can have fruit, you can have like raspberries, strawberries, things like that. You can have melted down chocolate. You can do different flavours of cupcakes. It's really up to you what you want to do. Um, if you want to do chocolate cupcakes, take out 25 grams of flour and add in 25 grams of cocoa powder. And then swap um, the buttercream for chocolate. It's easy enough to do. We've also got a tray that has our cupcake liners in, um, a icing spatula, whisk, sieve, and our measuring spoons. And then firstly, you'll need a bowl. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first thing you need to do is take off any jewellery or anything that you have on your hands. Make sure you don't have any nail varnish on there as well, because we don't want any of that getting into the food. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is combine all our wet ingredients. So we're going to start with the butter, pop it into your bowl, then your eggs. I've got a knife. Straight into the bin. When I'm doing things like this, I don't particularly use my hands on other things. Obviously, it's food, so I don't want to be touching the bin. What you didn't see is I used my foot to open that. Egg number two. Okay, we'll keep the knife to the side just in case we need it later. I don't think we will, but you never know. Um, now, I'm just going to get a spoon because I feel like at this point, a spoon is going to be easier to use to mix your wet ingredients together than a spatula. Just to break everything apart. Obviously, everything's at room temperature as well, so it is soft. So at this point, it's going to start to try and look like an actual mixture. If you can still see your butter, don't panic. Just keep whisking for a bit longer. I've just taken a little break from filming just so I could whisk it all together properly. Um, if you have noticed, I am using a different bowl. <laughs> so what happened was I was whisking and then the bottom of the bowl decided to split. Fun times. Um, yeah, so switch bowls real quick. Got a glass bowl instead now, hopefully that will last. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add our flour. We're going to sieve it in. We don't want it to be lumpy, so that's obviously why we use the sieve. So, pop that in. Just tap it on in. You will get bits left behind. Use the, the back of the knife that we saved earlier. And just throw the little bit away so we don't need that now and then yeah just mix it all together again you want to be careful with this because obviously you do lose flour as well so just be careful as you are mixing it together it'll take a little bit of time a bit of patience but it's worth it in the end 
do you guys have any favorite kind of cupcake recipe that you like to use maybe it's a family recipe that you've always used sound off below I think I may even switch from my spatula to, why do I keep calling it a spatula? <laughs> from my whisk to a spatula. So, you'd be surprised what we have in this house. In my little house. So, I'm just gonna get the excess off. So at this point as well, the mixture is getting a bit thick. Um, so we are going to add in two tablespoons of milk and then add in our flavoring. So just give that a mix. Yeah, it's really thick. Um, everything's combined, but it's really thick. Don't worry if your butter still hasn't mixed in, it will. Just keep going. Plus, no one said this was going to be perfect. It will be messy. <laughs> so, I'm going to grab our milk. I have like the biggest carton of milk ever. I'm going to keep it. So, I'm going to use my almond milk instead because I don't drink cow's milk. Absolutely not. So I'm going to use almond milk, use whatever you want, but I use almond. So two tablespoons of almond milk. And yes, that is my spoon. It did have a handle, it broke off. <laughs> I'm starting to think I'm really heavy handed with things. in okay then we are going to do two teaspoons of our flavoring Oh, I can really smell that. It smells so nice. And again, mix. Mix all that in. So now that we have that done, I'm going to use my spoon again. My oh, knife. The English language for me is not an easy thing. <laughs> What's because it is my normal language and I still struggle with it. My native tongue. Anyway, okay, so we're done with those now. I'm gonna get uh, another spoon. We're done with this bowl. And now, that mixture should make 12 cupcakes. Should be in the word. So, one spoon and two. If anyone else does this, it's hilarious. So, same time now, put it into your cupcake tray, spoon it in. Okay, I'm gonna have a tiny cupcake here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take some out of some and put it into the end one as well. Just so that we have an equal amount. <laughs> Am I the only one that does this? <laughs> Puts too much in some of them and then has to go back through and fix what we've done. 
Okay, that should be fine. Should be in the word. Okay. And put that on the side. There's my cupcakes in my mixture bowl. So now I'm going to put them in the oven for, I think it's about 30 minutes, 20 minutes. <laughs> Just check on them every now and again. The useful thing about my oven is the fact that it has a glass panel on the front, which means I can see into it. Do not <laughs> open the door. The thing with cupcakes, so let me put these in. The thing with cupcakes, once you open the door, even cakes in general, once you open that door, it takes all the hot air out, it's going to reheat and it's going to affect your baking of the cupcakes. So they're either going to sink or they're not going to cook fully. So yeah, don't open the door. <laughs> Do the full amount of time. So as soon as they are cooked, I will be back. Cooking away. Rise, rise. So the cupcakes have been in for 20 minutes, um, I've just taken them out and now we're going to let them cool for a bit. We'll take them out of the baking tray and put them onto the wire rack just so that the air can get underneath as well. So, almost done. Uh, we're going to check each one as well just to make sure they are properly cooked inside. If not, give them an extra five minutes and then take them back out, check them again. They should be fine. So yeah, let's pop them from the tray onto the wire rack. Now this is actually, it's going to be hot. So, just be very careful when you do it. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna let them cool. I'm even gonna move them away from the oven. I know that's not gonna do anything, but still, I don't know what helps. So in this time that they're cooling down, what I'm gonna do is, clean up behind me and then get started on the topping. Just while obviously I'm not using them, I like to leave them with a um, paper towel on top of them just to keep any dust or anything off. That way I know they're still fresh. Um, and I don't particularly want to put them in the fridge just because then they'll cool up. The butter will go hard and I want it at room temperature so it's easier to mix. So yeah, I will see you in a bit when they've cooled down. Okay, so our cupcakes are cooled down. They're cooled to the touch on underneath and on top as well. So what we now have to do is make the buttercream top. So we have 75 grams of butter, which I've just put into our mixing bowl. We also need two tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of Sicilian lemon flavoring again. I may put one and a half just to give it a bit of extra flavor. Then 225 grams of icing sugar. So, just popped in the butter started pre like mixing it up just so it's a bit softer i've also put a silicone mat down just so it's not as loud with the mixing so what you want to do is just get it a bit more soft just so it's ready so it's mixed just a little bit more and then put in bit by bit the icing sugar so i'm just going to grab a spoon again just put in Maybe two spoons. Just because it does like to, it is a powder, so it will spread and it might come up into your face, it might uh, spill everywhere. So just do it bit by bit again. Okay, a bit more in. At this point, I'm going to add three. Of course, can't do a video without being clumsy. So at this point, obviously the butter is getting a bit more stiff because of the icing sugar. So I may add in our milk just to soften it up a bit more. So, two tablespoons of milk. of milk oh that's not the lid <laughs> okay 
Okay. Let's mix that in as well. Okay, so I've put in the last of our icing. So I'm now going to add in a lemon. Can't actually stick to one. You know what? No, one and eh, one and a half. Just because I can, and I like a potent flavour. Okay. I'm just going to pop the milk back. Pop this all over here in the sink. And then mix the rest. Yeah. Great. <laughs> it's not broken, it does that. Um, so it's so you can wash it better. So you can yeah, take it apart, wash it. But yeah, that is done. So now we are going to just put them on our cupcakes. So let me move these aside. Just got a bit more room. It's there. And these are our cupcakes. So I like to use a icing spatula. Just take some icing. Put it on top. Spray it out. They don't have to be perfect. Like I said, we're not. We are not um, master chefs here. Just icing on top. I mean, you can always go back, like we did when we were cooking them, go back, add on more if you have more, take some off if you need it for other ones. I'm not an expert at this, I never claim to be. Just, yeah. Look, that will do. Okay. So here, take that out of it. And then we're going to add on a couple. So I like to put these onto the silicone mat and just put them on top. Doesn't need a lot, just a couple for decorations. Don't be panic if they do fall off. I just think lemon and white chocolate go so well together. It'd be a nice little topping, don't you think? Last one. And there we have it. I've finished all of our cupcakes. There we go. So, I think that went really well. Um, I'll pop a little extra bit at the end of us trying them, what we think of them. So yeah, if you have any suggestions on things you'd like me to make next, drop them down in the comments. If you liked this video, feel free to hit subscribe, click that like button, and yeah, we'll see you soon and we'll do some more. Bye. Hi guys, so I've just tried one. They taste amazing. Um, 
if you want the recipe i'll write it down in the description below definitely give it a try do it with your kids do it with on your own do it with yourself do it for friends they taste so good go on get in the kitchen give it a try bye guys